Hey guys, how are they hanging? This is the Big Z, and today you guys are going to be watching Advanced Warfare gameplay. I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to be putting in the background, but it's probably a gameplay with either the Bell or the ASM one, because that's what I've been using a lot this weekend. But, to get into today's commentary, I'm going to be talking about the whole game of Advanced Warfare so far, and I think that the honeymoon stage is over, and the game is still pretty fun to play, which is a good sign. The uh, Sledgehammer is really listening to the community. They already patched the bail. They put a lot of recoil on it. It's basically unusable unless you have the foregrip on it, which is, I think, was a good patch to make. But uh, then they buffed all the submachine guns, and now the gun to use is the ASM one if you want to be extremely sweaty. And I think that Sledgehammer in general has done a really a really nice job of trying to keep the game entertaining and fun and wanting you to keep playing it. They've been putting a lot of double XP in the game, so that that's what's been uh, keeping me on the grind and wanting to always get those supply drops. I'm currently 5th Prestige, and if you guys want to see a stats video, just let me know. I'll definitely do one. I think I have about 2 days played and 10,000 kills, but if you guys want me to go further in depth with some medals and that kind of stuff, let me know. Also, about a week ago, the clan war ended and my team, the Solemn Kings, took first place for our group. And we got 400 bank points, which none of us really knew what they were for. So, I did a little bit of research, and I came to a conclusion that currently they do nothing. And uh, they're basically useless right now. You can't redeem them for anything. But I do have a couple guesses on what we're going to be able to use them for in the future, and... Uh, a couple days ago, Nadeshot tweeted at uh, Sledgehammer, and he said that he would pay thousands of dollars to be able to purchase uh, supply drops, just like they do in FIFA, for like FIFA packs. And you'll actually see the tweet on the screen right now. And they actually responded saying deal. So I believe that maybe in the future we'll be able to use our bank points on supply drops and along with being able to buy them with Microsoft points, Steam points, or PSN money. Which I think would be a really good aspect added to the game. And I hope they do it around Christmas because I'm going to be getting some Microsoft points for Christmas. I would definitely buy a couple more supply drops. But also I think that you'll probably be able to use your bank points to be able to purchase uh, things such as double XP or calling cards maybe there will be some certain emblems that you can purchase but I think they'll, they'll think of some clever to use the points for but just, as of right now there's nothing so like I said I'm still having fun in the, in the game which is a good sign because last year around this time I was already on Black Ops 2 sick of ghosts and they I think this is because they added a lot of new aspects to the game ghosts really didn't add anything new in this game they added the whole exo movement exo suits and lots of variations of guns, which always keeps it entertaining. And basically to sum with this game, though, is it's fun when you're doing well, and the second that you start doing bad, it becomes your worst enemy. But I think if they do just help like iron out a few of these problems, it will become one of the best Call of Duties, and will go down in history as one of the best Call of Duties. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And let me know what you guys think of Advanced Warfare down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.